It's snowboard time. Goodbye. Hello there and welcome to the first part of my snowboarding series in which I travel to the coolest non-touristic winter sport resorts. I have no idea where I am. Yes. Oh, thank you, Digger. This is the city Sarajevo. And nearby you will find the mountain Jaurina. In 1984, when Bosnia was still part of Yugoslavia, Sarajevo, the capital city of Bosnia, hosted the Winter Olympics. And this mountain, Jaurina, has a part in that story. The 1984 Winter Olympics were something special. They were held in Yugoslavia and it was the first time an Olympic event was held in a communist country. On behalf of the International Olympic Committee, I should like to thank the people of Yugoslavia in organizing this 14th Olympic Winter Games here in Sarajevo. The games were opened and the mascot was this fox called Vučko. Everybody loved Vučko. The Olympic skiers of 84 were transported by bus to Jahorina, the Olympic mountain. So I also take the bus, a true Olympic experience. I'm from the Netherlands, which means that if we want to go snowboarding or skiing, we gotta go abroad. Most of the people go to France or Austria, but in this video I want to show you guys an alternative if you want to go to another country. Welcome to Bosnia. Yes, I'm in the country Bosnia and Herzegovina, but it needs a bit more context. When Yugoslavia fell apart in the 1990s, Bosnia and Herzegovina was divided. The Bosnian Federation, where Catholic Croats and Bosnian Muslims live mostly, and the Republika Srpska, where Orthodox Serbs live. The Federation and Republika Srpska are still divided entities in the state of Bosnia and Herzegovina. To make it more complex, there's the district called Burčko, which is governed by both entities. And I'll be snowboarding right here, Jaurina. This video is not about politics, but I felt the need to narrow down where I am. Republika Srpska. First impression, it's a really relaxed place. And in most places the snow is good, although not all the slopes have snow guns. Anyway, a good place for people to practice and the more advanced skiers and snowboarders. It's quite different snowboarding with 7 kilograms of equipment on your back, so that's a good excuse for all the times I fall. Snowboarding did not become Olympic until 1998, but in 1984 this side of the mountain was the stage for the Olympic ski events. The man flew over the slope in an exciting race. Of course, the Yugoslavs are favorite here, and after the first run on the giant slalom, Jure Franco from Yugoslavia was in fourth position. If Franco holds on, he could become the first Yugoslavian to win a medal in the Winter Olympics. With the crowds behind him, he skis the course with speed and agility. Jure Franco rides a magnificent run. Franco wins the silver medal and becomes a national hero. That's fun, being able to snowboard in the path of this Olympic hero. Well, I gotta say, I really enjoy snowboarding here. The slopes are not too busy, so the snow is not too good in all places, but you know, the slopes have the snow guns. Those are actually well prepared today. After all that hard work, I really earned a beer, so let's find a nice place and uh, let's grab a beer. At the bottom of one of the slopes I found Freeze Bar. Yes, I know, it looks a little dead. But I am only here during work days and non-touristic ski resorts like Jaurina attract most people on the weekend. Oh. 
Deze tune is zo hard, hij doet atomen splitsen, gek. Wat een fijn dingetje. I don't need anyone to have a good time anyway. At least, that's what I told myself. What I like about Jahorina is the relaxed vibe. There are multiple places where you can chill and it's possible to end your day of snowboarding or skiing in the dark. On my last day in Jahorina, it's time to properly review this place. First of all, it's not too crowded, but bear in mind that I'm not here on the weekend. The snow was not perfect, but this video was shot in a period in which winter sport resorts all over Europe had a lack of snow. Plus, Jaurina Ski Resort has been expanding the amount of snow guns all over the area since this video was shot. Renting gear is way cheaper than in France or Austria and a ski pass is just 62 euros for two days. For that price you get over 50 kilometers of slopes. I know there's a lot of people who say that's not big enough for me. But if you are like me and you enjoy discovering new places, Jaurina could be the place for you. Two days here is perfect and would be great to combine with a couple of days of sightseeing in Sarajevo. Well, yeah, Arena, I liked it a lot. I will definitely be back again. Woo! This video is the first of my alternative winter sport destination series, and since it was shot the longest time ago, they're only getting better. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episodes. Thanks for watching, and stick around for the bloopers. <coughs>